boy, am I oh. hoping that a lot more than that is on the way this weekend. Okay. Okay. Yeah, everything's still looking good with the storm system that's going to be dropping in out of the northwest on Sunday, and it should generate a vigorous cold front that will probably launch us into the deep freeze that we typically expect to see in the month of December. But right now, time-lapse video from McCall, you can see they had a little fresh snow up there as well. And this is just uh, exactly what the doctor ordered, friends. Now we're going to continue to see mostly dry pattern with a mixture of sunshine and clouds here across the Treasure Valley throughout much of west central Idaho over the next few days. It's on Sunday. Late Sunday is when the change begins as another storm system moves in and the temperature readings are gradually going to start dropping over the next couple of days as well. Yesterday we were in the 40s. Today by comparison, high temperatures have been in the upper 30s. Tomorrow it's probably going to be about the same, if not just a touch chillier compared to what we have seen. And then by Sunday, Monday, that's when the temperatures, especially with that Sunday night front, that's when the temperatures are really going to start dropping going into the first of next week. So Here's your weather headlines. Let's talk about the dry weather that is expected tomorrow, which will give way to increasing clouds on Sunday and then a rain snow mix, or it could be rain changing over to snow. We're talking about a storm that really hasn't formed yet. I'm just going off of what model data is indicating. And so it all depends on where the cold air is versus where the moisture is. But I think we'll see at least a mix in the Treasure Valley, if not rain changing over to snow by Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. And then we're setting ourselves up for what is going to be a stormy pattern in the days to come. All the computer models suggesting that this flow that you're seeing coming in from the Pacific Ocean is not only going to remain active, but after the storm that we're going to be seeing next week, the models are suggesting that this weather pattern is going to become hyperactive. That means not only will we see a high frequency of storms, but based on what the models are showing, the storms have the potential to be very wet, which means a lot of snow for the mountains. Now we're talking about something that's seven to 10 days down the road, but that's what the models have been leaning toward over the last few days. So here's the flow that's coming in out of the west. We have a little area of high pressure that's gonna build in tomorrow. This is gonna keep us on the dry side through Saturday. It is the storm that's gathering up here in the Gulf of Alaska. This is the colder storm. This is the system that's going to be on the way Sunday afternoon, and it is still expected to drop right in from the Pacific Northwest into the Gem State on Sunday, generating a strong cold front. We could see breezy to windy conditions ahead of and behind this front on Sunday, and I think we're probably going to notice a sharp drop in temperature readings once the front moves through by Sunday late afternoon, and it should generate that rain-snow mix for the floor, valley floors, and snow is expected for the mountains, which will carry over into Monday as well. So here's the computer models through the day tomorrow. Maybe a little patchy fog in the morning, but all in all, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies all through the day. And then here comes the increasing clouds we'll be seeing on Saturday ahead of the storm that's starting to gather and move in from the northwest on Sunday. Regional forecast uh, to temperatures tomorrow easily are going to be, I'd say, uh, upper 30s. Overnight lows tonight dropping down into the 20s. Patchy morning fog, otherwise plenty of sunshine mixed in with just a few clouds out there. All in all, a nice day, but you know what? Even with the sunshine, when temperature readings are in the mid to upper 30s, it's, it's kind of a chilly pattern out there, isn't it? Uh, in the Long Valley up towards McCall Cascade, we'll see high temperatures ranging from the upper 20s to near 30 degrees with lows tonight dropping down into the teens. Keep those snow guns going, guys. We'll get a nice base up there. Increasing clouds on Saturday. Then snow or rain snow mix is expected on Sunday for the Treasure Valley. Mostly cloudy skies on Monday and Tuesday with something else that comes in late Wednesday and Thursday. That looks even more impressive than this Sunday storm. Now up in the mountains, we're going to be seeing snow commencing late Saturday. Snow will be heaviest on Sunday and then some snow showers or flurries on Monday and Tuesday with snow likely on Wednesday and snow likely on Thursday. So what's really interesting, you have to ask the question, is this the onset of the La Nina pattern? Mm. It could be very interesting because now the models are indicating and only time will tell if the models are actually getting in groove with what the ocean is saying and the ocean saying the northwestern corner of the country during La Nina typically 
does get very active weather. That'd be nice. Any chance of an inversion setting up? Oh, absolutely. Okay. But because of the high frequency of storms, mm -hmm. we may have inversion for a day or so, but because of the high frequency of storms, it stirs the atmosphere a lot. That keeps the inversion from really forming and sticking around for weeks at a time. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Well,